All right, let's see if we can't get something here. Eh, not much. Death Runes are nice. All right, and welcome back to another episode of the Ultimate Iron Man. So you can see we are still very much on the Barrow's grind. I was somewhat, I don't want to say uncertain, but unsure how long I would stay at the end of the last episode. And I decided since then that we are going to be staying here until I at least get one full set of Barrow's. I was thinking about just leaving and moving on from this uh, since we got the tank legs, the Varex plate skirt, uh, pretty early on. I think it was one of our first items last episode, which is really only the really thing I needed for sure from Barrows. And uh, next on the docket on our little, you know, checklist to Zolra would be to go to Gauntlet for the crystal armor and uh, now somewhat also the new crystal bow. But because of that stuff with the new Crystal Bow coming out and the Gauntlet not being changed yet, as of recording, it's June 28th. And I think I'll put an image up on the screen of a roadmap. I think they had said it was like mid-July when they were planning on doing the Gauntlet changes, which I assume would also come with the, uh, the new bow. I think it's better to wait as close to that as we can to start Gauntlet, just because we're going to do a bunch of Gauntlet anyway to do the... Um, to get the crystal armor seeds we need for the crystal armor. And also just gives us a better chance of getting the bow. I guess it's gonna be like a seed now, so it's gonna be the same rarity as the Blade of Sailor, which is already an item that I would've, you know, liked to have. I would've kept that for sure if I get it. Um, but now it's like you need the same item, so you need two of them. And like, technically we could start now, because you'll be able to revert the Blade of Saldor if you have one. You'll be able to revert it into the seed uh, and then make a bow if you want, although it costs some crystals. So technically we better just to wait until we can get it ourselves. Um, and we need, we're going to need a lot of crystals to get the bow to be on unlimited charges or whatever they end up doing it. Because people on Twitter seem to constantly complain about every little thing they, they try and put in the game. But uh, long story short, I want to wait until that stuff is refined and 100% in the game before we get started on Gauntlet. Just to make sure. I'm not, I don't care about efficiency so much. I just want to make sure, you know, like it's, that it's actually going to be worth it still by the time we do it. I don't want to waste time if it's not going to be worth it. Although I think it, I think it is. For now, we are just going to be keep, keep going on with Barrows. We are 216 chests in. Hopefully it will not be too much until we get what we need. I have three out of four pieces for Torags. We're just looking for Torags plate legs and we'll be done. Oh, I also I didn't even mention. Um, I will show it just as soon as I finish off Derek here. But at chest 202, I believe, we got another item, the Carol's crossbow, which I have kept so far because we already have the Carol's skirt. Although the skirt is, is the same kind of deal with uh, the Torags plate skirt. Where it's like, uh, I probably want to, or no, not a Varex, that's Torax, a Varex plate skirt, excuse me. Where I'd probably like want to keep that in the bag rather than making a, you know, putting it in the stash unit. So I'd want to get like another one if I was going to use that for the stash. But that's probably unlikely to happen, we'll see. But I'm, I'm holding on to it now just in case we get full carols. That will be whatever I put in there. I'm going to put in the first full set I get, even if it's Torax, is going in the stash. Just because I don't want to worry about stay it for too much longer well ask and you shall receive i guess just talking about needing a uh, a dupe carol skirt if i wanted to get carols uh there's a there's another one we've got two now so i guess uh i'll put that in the bag and then we are really gonna be starting to run out of space at that point we are all all filled up although i think if i get another piece probably suicide because i want to put the uh the the god dehyde top on in place of this varix brassard and probably just honestly alk the alk alk the brassard because uh, we don't we don't really need it at this point we got enough tank from the the legs and i'd like to have a little bit extra you know i can see already switched out for the office accumulator to get the extra range buff against aram because uh we need it against him oh back to back i think oh, i logged out so i don't know for sure let me check my rune light stuff yeah, back to back, and a new piece too. Uh, Guffins, which I don't think we have any Guffins piece right now, so honestly, I'm going to Alk that. Because if we get full Guffins, then uh, before anything else, I will I will just accept it. 225 coming in. Not much to show for it. Finally saw my first Elite Clue from Barrow. It's a one in 50, and we've done at least 100 of them so far uh, since I went back to it again. And I was able to get the casket, so let's get some room here. And then what do we got? Nothing much at all. Oh, 10 elites done now, though. That's, that's kind of nice. 
Oh, another pre-wipe item, the Aram's Robe Skirt. Could actually be potentially good for Zolra. Well, this marks the uh, first thing that I'm going to have to keep in my inventory because the bag is all filled up. God, this is our third Torag's Hammer uh, from this uh, individual Barrow's Grind. And we also got an Elite Clue, our second one. So, nice Alk, and we'll see if we can start the clue. We can. And we got it. Let me just make some space here again, and then we'll fire this open. Number 11, uh, Rune Crossbow. Do I want to keep, I feel like there was some reason in my head I wanted to potentially keep a Rune Crossbow, maybe for like wilderness stuff or something? Eh, I can't remember. Early morning chest, right before a system update, but we are getting all the repeats this time around. That's, am I even, am I holding on to this one or did I just decide I wasn't even gonna go for Guthans? I think I decided I wasn't, but we'll see. Yes, I don't. I do have a Guthans spear though. I guess that's another piece we're holding in the inventory. It's gonna get real crowded here pretty soon. Well, the uh, game worlds are just shutting down, so I figured I'd go over the update because there are actually quite a few things that affect uh, our future plans than immediately what I'm doing right now. So uh, to start off, Fasani's Nightmare is uh, the new like hard mode for the Nightmare, which I'm pretty curious about. Although I'm not gonna, I'm not anywhere close to being able to go for for Nightmare, but I, I like this pet a lot. The the pet recolor you can get so that that might be like a long time potential goal for this account. Uh, I think the other important thing is there's going to be a medallion that you can either buy or get as a drop that lets you teleport inside the uh, the sanctuary, so that it really reduces the time between trips. Because I know that was a uh, a big thing but the actual big stuff here is the uh ranged equipment stuff i i had mentioned before that I, I thought it wasn't gonna be added until like the middle of july but no i saw mod ash tweeted something where he's just like oh no it'll be uh, it'll be here tomorrow which is you know today now so we've got the uh, the bow of fader i don't know if that's how you say it but uh it looks like proposal number i think that was number three which i think is the one i voted for i'd have to see them all again but I mean, I, they were all pretty good. I think I just did. I think the, the I thought the last one was a little too flashy, but all the rest are pretty good. And it looks it looks pretty cool, although it's a little. I wish there was like I, I feel like in the proposal some of them had something more like more gray here on the ends to kind of break up the the crystalness. But it still it still looks good. It's got uh, good 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 stats, good strength. It's 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 the same speed as crystal bow, so that's going to be what we're going for. And then things to note: it takes two thousand crystals to make it un, to make it unlimited charges, but it is actually unlimited charge. It's not like, you know, 50% chance like they had thought it would be at one point. And the way you get it is through this enhanced crystal weapon seed, which is going to be, it's going to replace the Blade of Saldor as a drop in the gauntlet. And then you can change, you can make it into either the blade or the bow, which I don't love. I would have wished, I think the gauntlet already has way too much stuff in it. That's like unique stuff, even though I like the gauntlet. I wish it came from something else, but hey, it is what it is, you know. It's easier for them to do this than have it come from, you know, something, either something that sucks or something new that, you know, would take forever to, to get. I'm glad that we have it now. And then Crystal Armor, of course, is getting buffed. We've known that for a while, so that's going to be the main reason I'm going to Gauntlet 4. And uh, Toxic Blowpipe changes. Not going to go over that a huge amount. I think just reduce accuracy and strength. And then, you know, the darts change. Uh, the biggest thing is that they're adding Amethyst darts now, which I think are going to be our best bet for darts Whenever, I mean, they definitely are going to be for making them, but you need, like, what do you need, like, 89, 90, you need, like, 90 fletching, 89 crafting, uh, and I think, like, 90 mining to get all these. They're definitely later game stuff or stuff we'd have to grind for, which I don't even, we'll see how useful the bow pipe's going to be. I mean, obviously, we're getting all this crystal gear so we can do Zora because I still want to get a blow pipe. I think it's going to be good, but I'll be curious to see how the meta kind of changes here in the next couple couple weeks or months, however long it takes. Crystal Bow is getting a plus eight to its strength bonus, which is actually cool. That'll help us right now for Barrows. Pole 75 stuff, finally. Uh, this banana wizard hat is gonna in the, be added to the game. I feel like they had said they were gonna make it come from a quest and then they just didn't. Cause it was gonna come out like a couple months ago and it was just gonna be in Diango. But then people were like, oh, we'll make it come from a, you know, it's a, it was a, a contest, make it come from something, you know, don't just drop it in Diango. But looks like they did that, so. Uh, we'll definitely grab that at some point. I remember it looked pretty cool in the uh, the pictures I saw. 
And you can finally now recolor the blade of Saldor, which I think we will definitely do if we ever get that. Although we're going to need freaking two crystal seeds if we want that. Ugh, I don't. We'll see what happens. I think you can recolor the bow too, although I don't know if they have. They don't have any pictures. I don't think it. it'll be in this update. Maybe that'll become later in the month, but... Just looking at the colors, which one would I like the most? I'm thinking probably either white or black. I uh, will have to see what gear we have, but that I think either of those, maybe even green, maybe green. Then I think those will all go with my uh, my Slayer helm, stuff like that. Although I do I do kind of like the yellow. I like these all look really cool. Oh, here's the one. I thought this was already in the game, and I was confused. But uh, yeah, I think they're gonna make it so the warning message when you're going into the crypt, you can make it only one. Like you only have to cl click it and hit space, and you immediately go in, which would be again, it's not huge, but it's. It's nice. It's convenient because I don't. I don't need a warning every single time. I know what I'm doing. Uh, really cool are these Seracnus pet color recolors. You can now get them as a drop from Grubby Keys. Of course, we need the Seracnus pet, but I've mentioned before that I definitely want to go back to Seracnus either for the pet or the jar, just because that boss has a special place in my heart, and also it's going to be pretty easy going back now because we've got much better gear than we had before. And then lastly, shooting stars give a little bit more XP. I've really, really wanted to do shooting stars for a long time, but I've wanted to wait until I had the dragon pick, which we don't have yet. So whenever we do eventually get to shooting stars, it'll be it'll be better. Oh yeah, they have uh, they're they're finally putting uh, like rune like uh, features into the main client. You know, like easier things, uh, XP tracking and whatnot. So maybe in like a year, we'll be actually using the uh, the main client instead of rune light because I would like that. I also wouldn't mind being able to play this game on Steam just because it would be you know nice to have it on there good way to track hours even though I can do that in my, my account thing. So I still am committed to getting a full set from Barrows, but I think we're probably going to go right in to, maybe not right in, I want to do a little bit of inventory management, but then we'll go pretty much right into a uh, whole bunch of gauntlet. Number 250 coming in here. Can we get anything? No, we are on, I'd say at least probably a 10 chest dry streak. Not that that's going dry really, it's just, it's feeling like with how lucky we've been. Oh my god, we got three Torx hammers, and now I have three Carol skirts on this grind alone. Uh, two of which are already in my looting bag, so that is just going to be a nice little Alk. Another early morning chess, and we got the uh, dupe plate skirt, which actually I think is convenient, because rather than having to pay to repair this one, I'll just Alk this one and then wear that. Chest 275 coming in, nothing. Oh, and here's our second set that we have three out of four of, the Aram Staff. Cool stuff. Not quite the Guthan's piece we need, but I'll take the money. That's more like it, Guthan's plate body. And now we are getting very full, but that is three sets now. We have three out of three, or three out of four. So we are getting very, very close to potentially being done with this stuff. And uh, two good ones. I'd love to have Arams or Guthans. Whether those are would be pretty cool ones to have in the set, I would think. What is this? What what is the obsession with giving me not just already great Barrows luck, but so many freaking repeats? All right, there's some big thundering going on outside. Hopefully you guys can't hear that. But we have chest number three hundred. Can we get anything? No. Have we ever got anything for the milestones? I can't remember. It's not. It's not super important if I can't remember. Three hundred one is where the real money's at. Oh, why did I get bolt racks? I guess, did I go to, oh, I, pff, I got too much KC. I was wondering why my number was off. I got too much KC because I was thinking I'd already killed the brother, but I hadn't. So what a great embarrassing thing way to end the, uh, the video. Although we did that for the collection log. So, hey, actually I knew exactly what I was doing. That was hundred percent planned getting a collection log unlock for the last one. Definitely, definitely planned. I'm not stupid. That's going to be the end of this video, I think. Take a look at the collection log. We are, it's kind of looking ridiculous. I just did the math. We are now more than one in 10. We're like 9.7, every 9.7 chests, we've gotten a piece. We have 31 pieces total, including all the duplicates we've gotten in 301 chests. So that's, that's a little insane. Uh, still haven't seen you see, there's th we, any of these three, lay, well, not any of these three. Actually, the sets we have three of now are Torags, Guthans and Arams. It looks like we have full Arams because I had gotten a top and bottom before the wipe, but of course don't have those anymore. So uh, we need the Arams top or the Guthans or Torag's leg to complete a set right now. And I'm gonna just keep going for that. Like I said, this video, 
uh, as long as it takes hopefully not more than 100 more chests. I'd like to be able to get it done, you know, halfway through the next video and then keep going because this video, oh, I didn't want to commit to this video to doing a whole thing that is already longer than I like, but I think this is this is a good stopping point. 100 more chests, had some really, really good luck. Our bag and inventory is crazy full, uh, but I am committed to getting a full set. So uh, thank you for watching, and I hope you will uh, continue on this bearer's journey with me next time. Have a good one.